The following program is intended for mature audiences. Look, let me tell y'all something. Let me make this very clear. I am not a journalist, okay? I am not a reporter, okay? I'm a commentator. I got a comment about everything. And just because I don't post about everything doesn't mean I haven't seen everything. Because it's not too often that I miss anything, okay? And if I don't speak on it, that means I'm not interested in it. But I don't miss nothing. Now that we have gotten that out the way, <laughs> child, Trump got them folks down there at the Capitol building climbing the walls, literally. Okay, literally climbing the walls, literally climbing the walls. Let that marinate. <laughs> I look up, log in to social media. I said, Oh, what's going on? I seen folks climbing the walls, breaking into the Capitol building. They was busting windows, knocking down doors. They was going in there, throwing up gang signs, peace signs, vandalizing property, stealing property. And last time I checked, only four made it to the morgue. I said, ooh, that's all? But... What I want to know is, because, see, I've been minding my business. But what I want to know is, what is the outrage for from my people? Why are my people mad? I'm not understanding. That's dumbo business. But why y'all mad? Why is BLM mad? And anybody else black, why you mad? What's your outrage? Because I thought y'all was woke. You know. Every time you turn around, y'all so woke. Power to the people. Black power. Y'all woke. So, if y'all dead woke, why y'all mad at Trump? Because I'm not mad at Trump or his supporters. Because I was always taught. When a person show you who they are, believe them. Okay? Trump told y'all and showed y'all who he was long before he got into the White House. Okay? And his supporters. Why y'all mad at them? Let them people show you who they are. Okay? Just in case they want to run up on you. That's how I think. Yeah. Because I'm mad at my business. I see you, though. Just don't come over here with that. Why y'all mad at Trump? Trump should have never made it into the White House. We did our part. So that was wrong with you folks. My black people. Y'all always want y'all lick back. Mm -mm. Just sit back and watch those people. Because what we're witnessing is <laughs> albino apes and baboons on the loose. Period. The American people saw it in plain view. No one can tell me that have had been a group of Black Lives Matter protesting yesterday, 
there wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been treated very, very differently than the mob of thugs that stormed the Capitol. We all, we all know that's true. And it is unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. supporters in the parking lot of the U.S. Capitol grounds. Period. I've heard an officer say they want to do a Thank you. 
Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Chapter 22. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered and out of the hand of all his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord. like at the parking lot in front of the Capitol. Um, yeah, they're, they're starting to kettle people in. Yeah. What do you have? If I'm looking straight at the Capitol building, you're to the left. Oh, I think you and I are at opposite ends of the Capitol. I'm on the side of the reflecting pool. If you pay any money to the IRS, you are supporting the actions taken tonight by our government. 
Yeah, I will, I'll they were in violation of the curfew. I've seen at least 15 morbidly obese police officers tonight. Can we please, as a country, have a little bit better standards? I don't think that guy's running into a bank to slap somebody. He can't run. Call your family and friends at home. We need everybody in D.C. and we need all citizens. <laughs> directions. He's like, that they're on the last street, they're on the left of the Capitol. Maybe they're up there. I suspect they're in Louisiana. I don't think they could have got it on Constitution because that looks like I don't like think they can get down here. Yeah. But it's not coming through right now either. I figure I would go to mine, but they just completely collapsed. <laughs> you know, there's still people in the middle. <laughs> the answer to that question is now. When we're done trying to figure out where they are, I think we're going to go over there and see if we can get it, because that'll be the shot. Looking well, for the wagon. I think they're over there. You think so? I think they're over here. Let's go into uh, the park here and see if we can see them being loaded into wagons. You want to walk, walk up that sidewalk? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, the, the park is muddy. Uh, hey, um, we're going to walk uh, through the park up to um, Louisiana and first. So we are... Okay, mine's not sending it to you. The, there's like so many people here. But if you're near lights, I think we're headed in the right direction. Because there aren't any lights near us. We're at, we're at like the end of the parking lot. So. Hey, cutie. Oh, you have my Yeah. Because I gotta. Yeah, man. Hey, back. Back. What? Let me hold it for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just noticed you trying, trying to do your phone at the same time. time. I got it. Okay. You want to hold it right here? Okay. <laughs> oh, do you know where they are? Or are you just. No, I'm good, baby. Okay. Okay, I lost because of the uh, emergency. Okay. It's got no thing, though. Man, I just still So is he in Louisiana? 